Okay, so let's uh, talk about this keto uh, enol tautomerization. So, um, whenever you've got a ketone uh, in a within a solvent that has um, a hetero atom with a lone pair of electrons, like water, okay, so a basic hetero atom essentially, right? Um, if you've got something like this, of course, um, what you can uh, look at is if you look at your pKa table you'll see that this alpha proton, so we call this, since that's the ketone, that's alpha to the ketone, right? So this is an alpha proton. Um, I don't have it, uh, I don't have the uh, pKa table, but I think it's uh, about 25. Okay, so that's the pKa of that. And um, uh, what'll happen is not to any appreciable extent, so it'll be more like this, you know, in fact, it'll be even less than that. What'll happen though, is because of the acidity of that proton, water, or whatever the base is, whatever that solvent may be, will deprotonate it and make what we call uh, the enol, okay? Which is actually a two-step reaction. So that's the first step. And then, of course, since you've got the hydronium ion very acidic, that's going to deprotonate there. Um, and when you do that, you get what's called the enol. See, so this is called a enol, and of course this is the ketone. So this is called keto enol ta tom tomerization. Okay. So um, again, since this is not very acidic. And this is not very basic. This is not going to go to any appreciable extent. But it does affect the reactivity. So what you can do is you can, you know, kind of force ketones and aldehydes um, into uh, their phenol form. And what will happen is that eventually what you can do is make um, force this, this carbon here to be a nucleophilic carbon. Because if you think about the... Um, resonance structure of this molecule, right? So the resonance structure of an enol, right, if we pull these electrons down like that, and those electrons there like that, right, that gives you, of course, this, this uh, resonance structure isn't the main resonance structure, but it does show reactivity like this. In fact, this is a very good way of what we'll show eventually is to make carbon-carbon bonds this way. Okay? But you can see, right, you've got a carbanion on there. And that's a good, that's like almost like a Grignard reagent, if okay. you think about that. So that's kind of like a carbanion that good you already know. Like good to make carbon-carbon carbon bonds. Carbon-carbons or carbon uh, heteroatom? Carbon-carbon bonds, yeah. Okay. Well, you said that you can push it that way. How do you push it to the enol formation? Oh, um, the so there'll the be reagents that we'll talk about later. Okay, there'll be reagents that we talk about later. But right now, let's just th focus on this keto enol tautomerization. Okay, just for right now, let's pretend that we're not putting any of those reagents in, th okay. which we're not, right? Mm -hmm. So it's just in the water solution here, you know. And this happens to, you know, some extent, but not very appreciable. Mm -hmm. And the main thing is that it shows this reactivity with this being a kind of carbanion. But again, you, like I said, we're going to have to kind of stick it in that way, okay? 
Um, we'll use like N-butyl lithium or things like that. It will be reagents that we'll use that'll push it that way. Okay. Or potassium permanganate. No. no. Okay. 